Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. Today we have a very interesting question. We have a derivative uh, of 2. Actually, we have an integration here and answer the question ask, does it equal to this or does it equal to this? Obviously, uh, at first look, you take a look at those two, they're not the same. Okay, so let's ch check on answer A here. If we take a derivative of 250s minus s squared over 2, derivative, that's equal to 250 minus s squared, which is s1, and then 2, 2 cancels. So we do have 250 minus s, which is the core of this one. So it does check out. Okay, so the first answer does check out. If we call this answer b, let's check, see if answer b uh, is um, satisfy that as well. Let's take a look. Okay, now take derivative of this one. We do have to use chain rule. That's equal to minus half. Okay, and then I'm going to take um, two out, and then 250 minus s to the one, and then I need to times minus one because this one is my chain rule. The last, the last of the chain rule I need to apply. This one, this one, and they all cancel out. It's equal to 250 minus s as well. So both answer A and B, both of them work. So now the question is which one? As as matter of fact, both A and B are correct. And here's why: when we take derivative, the when we take integration, my bad. When we take integration here, we do have a constant of c. So for the constant of c here, we actually need to add a constant. We don't care what the constant is. In this case, we did say the constant is actually, we're saying is 250 squared over 2 with a minus sign. Okay. So this is constant. When we take derivative of the answers, the constant disappears because constant, when we take derivative, it becomes 0. Okay, when we take derivative of a constant, we have a zero. Okay, so that's part of the reason why the answer might look this different, but actually they are the same. The crucial part is actually the first uh, s to the one and s to the square term. Okay, now going backward, if we were to integrate this one, 250 minus s, let's see if we can get both of the answers. Okay, first thing you can do is 250 minus the s and s. Then this one gives you 250s plus a constant. I don't care what the constant is. Okay, minus s squared over 2 and plus another constant. Let's call this 1 and 2. So in this case, we have 250s minus s squared over 2 plus a constant. We don't, we don't really care what constant. Okay, this was our uh, answer A. Okay, to get Answer B, we can do the similar things, except uh, we'll use a substitution. If we let u equal to 250 minus s, okay, then du equal to minus, uh, minus ds. Okay. So let's plug it in here. We have uh, du, which is uh, minus ds, there's a minus sign, and I have a u here. Okay, so I have minus of u squared over 2 plus a constant, whatever the constant is. Let's substitute a u in there. So I have a minus 250 minus s, okay, the whole thing squared on top over 2 plus a constant. Okay, so we do have, uh, this is answer b. So either way, the answer is correct. Okay, hope this helps. Have a confident day.